welcome to the next episode of the microbiology tube so today we are talking about the types of the bacterial flagella so the bacterial flagella can be divided into the five types so based upon the presence and the absence of the flagella the bacteria can be divided into the five types so the first is the atrichus so the atrichus means the absence of the flagella so here the atrichus means there is the absence of the flagella it means the bacteria cannot move so next is the monotrichous flagella so the monotrichous flagella means there is only the presence of the single flagella in a polar end if you see here this is the polar one this is the polar part and this is the lateral part so this is in the polar end or in the polar part there is only one flagella so this this type of the arrangement of the flagella is called the monotrichous flagella so these are majorly present in the pseudomonas aeruginosa as well as the vibrio coleri so next is the lophotrichous flagella in the lophotrichous flagella here you can see in the polar end there is the cluster of the flagella so whenever there is the, there is the cluster of the flagella in one polar end the arrangement of the flagella is called the lophotrichous flagella so the examples of this lophotrichous flagella containing bacteria is the pseudomonas fluorescens so next is the amphitrichous so the word amphi means both so whenever the back whenever the flagella are present in both the polar ends so it is called the amphitrichous so here if i repeat it again in the monotrichous so if i repeat here in the monotrichous only a single flagella was present on a polar end so here you can see only the single flagella was present in a polar end in the lophotrichous cluster of the flagella were present on the polar end but in the amphitrichous a single flagella may be present on the both the polar end or the cluster of flagella may be present on both the polar end so the examples of the amphitrichous is the aquaspirillum serpens so the examples are the aquaspirillum serpens so next is the peritrichous so the peri means peripheral so the so in the peri trichous flagella arrangement the flagella are distributed in the whole whole surface of the bacteria it means the flagella are located in the polar end as well as in the lateral end so the, the so the bacteria are surrounded by the flagella in case of the peritrichous flagellar arrangement so the examples of the bacteria that consist of the peritrichous flagellar arrangement are all the motile enterobacteria c for example salmonella proteus e coli so these type of the bacteria have the peritrichous flagellar arrangement so i have the one formula to remember this all kinds of the flagellar arrangement that is the m lab so the a stands for the a trichus so this means there is the no flagella so monotrichous means there is presence of one flagella and lophotrichous means there is the presence of many flagella in one polar end that is called the m lophotrichous amphitrichous means there is the presence of the flagella in both the polar end so that is called the that is called the lo amphitrichous so last one is the peritrichous in the peritrichous the flagella are distributed in the whole surface of the black bacteria so the here a m l a p is the formula which simply is called the m lab and you can remember the all the flagellar arrangement by remembering the m lab so the a stands for the a trichus m stands for the monotrichus l stands for the lophotrichus a stands for the amphitrichus and the p stands for the peritrichus so thank you for watching my video about the types of the bacteria bacterial flagella so if you really like video please don't forget to subscribe my channel as well as 
like the channel thank you